Hey guys, welcome back to La Vida Pasta. I'm Justin Barker, your host, your chef, AKA Big Chef 51. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe tonight. Uh, hey, you know, we're all stuck inside the house right now with this whole crazy COVID, not COVID, uh, uh, COVID-19. Yeah, COVID-19 Coronavirus. sickness and, and all that, the virus. So I want to teach you guys how to make the best shrimp scampi pasta you've ever had in your life in eight minutes. Eight minutes with me. So, super easy. You can, you know, you can go to the grocery store. Everybody has this. Shrimp never sells out. Lemons, always good to go. Some fresh flat leaf Italian parsley. I'm using a little uh, fresh oregano right here. Just a little bit. You don't need a lot of oregano in this dish. It actually doesn't call for it. So maybe four cloves of garlic. A little bit of wine. Uh, I'm gonna use some, um, some vermouth tonight, but you can use uh, dry white wine, any kind of Pinot Grigio or Sauvignon Blanc. By the way, Sauvignon Blanc, five bucks a bottle for what you're cooking with. Super easy, Pinot Grigio, same thing. You don't need expensive wine to cook with. Uh, so long story short, the most expensive thing that I used tonight is gonna be the shrimp. And I paid for a 16 count shrimp, I think I paid about seven bucks a pound and I bought a pound. So I'm cooking for five people tonight. So you may want to scale up or scale down depending on how many people you're cooking for. So again, eight minute dinner. By the time you throw your pasta in, pasta takes eight minutes. So when you put your pasta in, we're gonna start the ingredients on the stove top. And when, it, when it's done, everything will all come together and you're gonna have the most delicious meal. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to taste it. I love that, I, love, I just can't wait. The flavors are already in my brain. So when we come back, Choose we're gonna throw the pasta in and we're gonna start the dinner. See you in a minute. So we're about to dump our pasta in the water and I wanna show you guys something. Tonight's episode of Shrimp Scampi with uh, La Vida Pasta is brought to you by Blackbird Wines. Now this is a special glass of wine. Let me tell you something, folks. This is their um, illustration model. If you can see all the different, the little blackbirds on here, this is really cool. Great story behind this winemaker. Anyway, this is a Merlot Cab Franc Cabernet Sauvignon blend. This is one of the best wines you're ever, ever, ever gonna have. And I encourage you to go on Blackbird Wines. Uh, they're out of Napa and they are just exceptional. Anyway, so we got our shrimp. We got our olive oil. Extra we, we squeezed our um, uh, lemons and we have some butter. Our water is boiling, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our pasta and we're gonna dump it right in. Okay, oops, there we go. I'm happy to use boxed pasta tonight. This is a Berea pasta. Um, this is not a bad pasta. This is about a dollar, dollar fifteen. This is a nice little pasta, very good flavor. Um, and I think you will really appreciate uh, how good it is. So obviously, right, we, our water is salted. Remember that from the last couple of episodes. And we're spinning the pasta around in the water right now so nothing sticks. I got a little olive oil in the water and some salt. But you see what I'm doing? I'm kind of mixing everything around so nothing clumps together. And we're gonna let that go, all right? Now, in eight minutes, this will be ready. Now, our pan is ready to go. We're gonna add about four and a half tablespoons of butter. Remember, I'm cooking for uh, five people tonight, and we're gonna add our olive oil. We don't want the butter to burn, so we're gonna add, gosh, this is about six or eight tablespoons of olive oil. Oh, there's so much flavor coming out of here, right? So then we're gonna, we're gonna let, lower that heat just a bit. Now, what's cool about this is the pasta's cooking, we're enjoying life, we've got a nice little glass of wine, and you're gonna watch what happens with this flavor, okay? So, we're gonna take our <clears throat> garlic, one clove at a time, and we're gonna press it right in there, okay? The next one, and boom. It's right in there, wait till you smell this. Just, now, Camera guy, you tell me, happens to be my son Tristan. Hello. Tell me the scent, the smell that you get when you see. You know, I'm doing four cloves because I love garlic. I get the smell of garlic. And, oh, listen, just, oh, listen, just smell this. And the fragrance is coming out of here. You don't wanna, you don't wanna let any of this garlic go to waste, guys, okay? Garlic is so all. good for you. In every way, it's good for you. We got one more clove to do. Push that little sucker right in there. 
Now. How would you mash garlic without this thing? Um, I slice it up with my knife. Uh, I'm just showing people tonight how to use in a garlic press. Garlic presses, you know, they're, they're worth the money you spend on them. Sorry about that. So, good. Now, look at that in there. Oh. Tell me what you smell. Olive oil, garlic. Well, you should smell the garlic and, right away, right? Yeah. Okay. Olive oil, garlic, now, and this is what we want. Okay. something else that I don't know. Yep. So, what's next, right? We need to get our shrimp cooked. And we want our shrimp to be pink and nothing more. So, what we're going to do is see how this garlic is browning? You can see it. The garlic is actually browning a little bit. Now, we're going to add our white wine this mixture. This is about a cup of the white wine. This Wait. happens to be vermouth. And you hear that. Listen to, listen to the sound. We're going to add our shrimp right in there. Oh. Now the temperature is going to cool down a bit. Okay. Because the shrimp was previously frozen? Because the shrimp frozen? was cold. Yeah. The shrimp, no, it wasn't frozen. It's all fresh. Oh. But the shrimp was cold. So what's nice is this buys you a minute or two. And what's going to happen is it's going to start to heat back up. Okay. It's going to boil. Yep. Now look, look what I'm adding. Okay, I take salt and pepper and I mix it together. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take. Which is smart because it's one container, it takes up less space. About a pinch and a half of salt and pepper. That's really about all you need. Now look at me. So some people right now will add red, crushed red pepper. I love it, but my wife doesn't like it. So tonight I'm not gonna make it, but I highly encourage you to take a pinch and a half of crushed red pepper and put it in right now. Right into here. This is what you want, okay? Just after your salt and pepper? Yep. Just after the salt and pepper. A little crushed red pepper. So the pasta's cooking nicely. Now, this is where we're gonna add a little bit of the parsley. About a handful of the parsley. Sprinkle it in. <clears throat> a little bit of the oregano. A little bit of the oregano. Sprinkle that in, okay? And we're just gonna let that. Oh man, the smells are just insane. It smells are just it's absolutely insane. Okay, so this is like this is what happens when you go to an Italian restaurant and you fall in love, and you'll always remember the person you were with when you fell in love. Hopefully, it's your 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 partner. But the smell stays with you forever, and when you're enjoying a nice glass of wine, that connection to your brain stays with you forever. So again, now it's cooking. You start to see the heat coming back up. And again, remember this, look at the color here. What do you see there? Green. No, the color of the shrimp. Oh, the shrimp. Yeah. Pink. It was clear when we started, right? And we want pink. So we are going to make sure that all the sides, both sides of these shrimp get turned over. You can see it doesn't take much. You just kind of flip them around, have some fun with it. The nice thing about here, I normally have music playing, but when I'm recording a video, I really can't. So uh, actually, uh, tongs would work better here, but who cares? So I'm kind of having some fun with it. Now, the uh, the nice thing about shrimp scampi is it's so full of flavor. When you add <clears throat> the pasta, this the pasta into this dish, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. After we strain the pasta, we're gonna add it. We're gonna add the pasta into this rather than pouring this over pasta. So we're gonna have some delicious, delicious flavor. And it's gonna, all that starch in the pasta is gonna soak up. It's gonna soak up these, uh, you know, this, this butter, this white wine, in this case, vermouth. But you get the point. Look at that pinkness happening right there. See it? See yeah. how it's translucent on one side? We turn it over and it's pink, right? Well, we want pink all the way through. Not that you can hurt. You can't hurt yourself by eating raw shrimp called sushi y'all it's fine as long as it's cold when you when you prepare it but look what's happening everything's coming together nicely here all right so now we're gonna add our lemon juice oh look at that that's a juice of two lemons now wait till you smell this smell that oh stop it. just stop just stop guys you're stuck at home you got to make dinner eight minutes it's not even like one segment of your favorite TV program. But in this case, you're gonna have shrimp scampi like you went out to the finest Italian restaurant. Guys, it's 23 bucks a plate at your at your Italian restaurant. 
when you make this. You can make it at home. Have fun with it. When we come back, you're gonna see the final plated dish. See you in a minute. Oh my gosh, guys, check this out. So the, the um, scampi is perfect right now. The pasta is ready. We're gonna strain it. We're gonna set it in here and we're gonna plate it up and serve it. And I want you guys to know that, again, eight minutes is all it takes. This is super easy. You can have fun. If you're cooking with your partner, just remember, talk, enjoy, have some, some wine, and just uh, fall in love over the food, okay? So let's watch what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna, we're gonna strain. Always pour away from yourself, right? That's good there. Woo, that's... Yep. Oh. Perfection. And if there's any extra water in there, it's just gonna drain itself because the bowl has holes in it. <laughs> All right, so in this situation, I bring the pasta right over, sorry, I bring the, the scampi dish right over to the pasta and put it right in. All right, let's go back over to the oven. You got steam coming off there, Tristan. Oh my gosh. It smells so good, right? Yeah, now we're gonna, we're gonna mix. Oh, look at this, just nectar happening. The starch is coming together. Little by little, there's starch in the pasta, in the pasta water. That's why you don't dump all the water off it. You don't rinse it with cold water or anything because you're just taking, get rid of all that starch. So all this is coming together. Now, watch where we go from here. We're just gonna let it sit in there for a second and nectar and just, just enjoy where we're coming together here. Now, turn this off. Now, watch this, Tristan, you ready? Look at this. Watch what happens. Oh, look at this. Are you serious? Okay, so back out a little bit. Here's what we do, guys. Look. Take the extra parsley. Just a little bit. Okay, then what I want you to do is take one of these little bowls. I like to add a little Pecorino Romano. You can add Parmesan. Cheese. Here's what we're gonna do. The flavors are just, in, smell that. Oh my gosh. Put it up here. Here we go. All right, listen. Mm. Chewing with my mouth food is mouthful is rude, but guys, I'm here to tell you, this is the best eight minutes of shrimp scampi you've ever had in your life. Have fun with it. If you have any questions, leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And thanks again for coming out. Good night.